What do you know about geothermal heat pumps? In this video, we'll cover the basics. Geothermal heat pumps are also known as ground source heat pumps or geo exchange systems. Geothermal means produced by the internal heat of the earth. A few feet below the earth's surface, the ground remains at a relatively constant temperature, ranging from 45 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the latitude of the location. This ground temperature is always warmer than the air above during winter and cooler than the air above in summer. So geothermal heat pumps take advantage of this by transferring heat to or from the ground. Just like any other heat pump, geothermal heat pumps are able to heat, cool, and if equipped, even supply the house or building with hot water. In comparison to air source heat pumps, geothermal are typically quieter, last longer, need little maintenance, and don't depend on the outside air temperature. There are four major types of geothermal heat pumps to know about. The first three are closed loop systems, meaning the heat pump circulates an antifreeze solution through a closed loop that's buried in the ground or submerged in water. The heat exchanger transfers heat between the refrigerant in the heat pump and the antifreeze solution in the closed loop. The three types here are horizontal, vertical, and pond or lake configurations. So the first one, horizontal, is most often seen in new construction residential projects that have a sufficient amount of land available to run the piping. This configuration requires trenches between three and six feet deep. In order to fit more piping into a trench, a slinky looped pipe can be used. The trenches can be put beneath lawns or parking lots. The second configuration, vertical, is most often seen in large commercial building or school projects or any other jobs where the site area is limited to run the piping. This configuration also minimizes the disturbance of existing landscaping. In this system, vertical holes are bored about 20 feet apart from one another, going 100 to 400 feet deep. Each hole contains vertical loops that are connected with horizontal pipe placed in trenches and connected to the heat pump in the building. The third configuration, pond or lake, can be used when the building is close to a large body of water. The loop is submerged in the water, which will actually conduct heat much faster than the soil. The loop should always remain at least eight feet under the water to prevent freezing. This option requires a much shorter length of pipe and little excavation, making it a much cheaper option if the site can allow for it. The fourth option is an open loop system. This type of system can only be used where there's an abundance of groundwater and is often prohibited by many jurisdictions. The open loop system uses underground well water as the heat exchange fluid that circulates directly through the geothermal piping system, so there's no antifreeze solution. Once the groundwater has circulated through the system, the water returns back to the ground through a secondary recharge well. So let's review. There are four major types of geothermal systems. Three are closed loop systems, horizontal, vertical, and pond or lake. And the last is the open loop system. A cheat sheet on geothermal heat pumps can be found on our website. Just click the link in the description below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time. If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And check out our website, linked in the description below. You'll find full-length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.